Okay, now let's start with preparing soluble salts. Chemical reactions. Eh? Now, when you choose a chemical reactions to prepare a salts, there are two things that you need to consider. The first one is uh, what are the chemicals that you want to use. And uh, the second one is uh, how to separate the salt from other substances. Okay, because uh, after the chemical reactions in the products, they may have other substances, like for example, water, and uh, it may have some excess uh, reactants inside. How are you going to remove this uh, foreign substance from the salts? Okay, so that is what you need to consider. As we discussed before, there are two types of salts, the soluble salt and the insoluble salt. The methods that we use to prepare soluble salt is very different from the methods that we use to prepare insoluble salt. Um, I will discuss with you how to prepare insoluble salt later. So now let's focus on how to prepare soluble salt. Now, to prepare soluble salt, uh, we use the four chemical reactions of acid. We have discussed this uh, when we discussed acids and bases. So if you still remember, Acids undergoes uh, four chemical reactions. The first one is acid can react with uh, reactive metals to prepare salt and hydrogen gas. Acids uh, react with metal carbonates to, uh, to produce salt and uh, carbon dioxide and water. Acid with alkali, salt and water, and acid with uh, metal oxide, salt and water. Okay, so you see, in these four chemical reactions, uh, okay, one of the products is salt. Okay, we can see salt, salt, salt. Salt. Okay, so to prepare soluble salt, we use these uh, four chemical reactions of acid. Now let's come back to this chart. Um, from here, we can see that uh, even in preparing soluble salt, uh, we divide the salt into two groups. For the salt of uh, sodium, potassium, and ammonium, uh, we use the methods of uh, neutralizations of acids with alkali. Uh, acid plus alkali to produce salt and uh, water. And the technique that we use is called a titration. Now for those salt which, which is uh, not potassium, sodium, ammonium, okay, or the other salt, eh? uh, soluble salt, okay, then we use the other three reactions of acids. Uh, metal with acid to produce salt and hydrogens, metal carbonate with acid to produce salt, carbon dioxide and water, and uh, metal oxide plus acid to produce salt and water. Okay, so it's very important for you to know this. Eh? Okay, for sodium, potassium, and ammonium, we use neutralizations only. But for those uh, salt which is not sodium, potassium, and ammonium, then we use the other three reactions of acid. Eh? And after the reactions, we use filtrations to remove the uh, foreign substance from the salt. Okay, and I'm going to explain to you why. Eh? Why? Uh, for potassium, sodium, ammonium, we use neutralizations and titrations. And why for uh, those salts which is not potassium, sodium, ammonium, then we use these three other uh, reactions. Preparing salts of potassium, sodium, and ammonium. Eh? Uh, these questions, they would like us to write the chemical equation for the reactions that can be used to prepare the following salts, sodium chloride, ammonium nitrate, and uh, potassium sulfate. So just now we have learned that if we want to prepare the salt of potassium, sodium, ammonium, then we must use the reactions between acid and alkali to produce salt and water. This is called the neutralization reactions. So to prepare sodium chloride, so sodium chloride, we use the acid and alkali. Okay, what's the acid and uh, what types of acid or what types of alkali that we should use? Okay, now since uh, we need to have sodium, okay, we need to have a sodium in our salt, okay. And uh, therefore, the alkalis that we use uh, must be uh, sodium hydroxide. Okay, it must be sodium hydroxide. You can you cannot use potassium hydroxide, or ammonium hydroxide. Okay, uh, because we need to have sodium in our salt, so we must use sodium hydroxide. And we need to have chloride in our salt. So, what's the acid that we should use? So, which acid contains chloride? Chloride or oh, hydrochloric acid, right? Hydrochloric acid. Eh? Okay. So uh, you see, yeah, okay, you must carefully choose the reactants. Uh, okay? um, if you want sodium, then you must use uh, sodium hydroxide. And if you want chloride, then you must use uh, hydrochloric acid. Okay? 
and uh, sodium hydroxide to react with uh, hydrochloric acid. The product is a salt. Okay, the salt, uh, the positive ion of the salt come from the alkali, uh, and the negative ions of the salt come from the acid. Okay, so therefore the salt is a uh, sodium chloride. Okay, so exactly what we want, sodium chloride. And uh, when alkali react with uh, acid, the product is salt and water. Okay, and uh, this equation is already balanced. Huh? Okay, so that is the uh, chemical equations huh, of the reactions to prepare uh, sodium chloride. Okay, then how about ammonium nitrate? Huh? Ammonium nitrate. So to obtain ammonium nitrate, uh, the alkali that we use must contain ammonium, right? Okay, so the alkali is uh, ammonium hydroxide. Eh? Okay, so all alkali contain hydroxide, eh? so we must use hydroxide. Okay, uh, nitrate, nitrate. So to get nitrates, uh, so what's the acid that we should use? Nitric acid, right? Okay, nitric acid, eh? and the salt is ammonium nitrate okay and, and at the same time the uh, water is uh, produced okay and uh, the equation is already balanced huh? and for potassium sulfate um, so the alkali that we should use uh, potassium hydroxide and um, so the acid which acid contains sulfate sulfuric acid right okay so the product is uh, potassium sulfate and water Okay, uh, for this one, uh, the equation is not yet balanced because we have two potassium here, so we need to have uh, two potassium hydroxide, and uh, two potassium hydroxide we re react with uh, two hydrogen ions. Uh, it will produce two water molecule, two water molecule. Okay, so these uh, these are the balanced equations. Uh, to prepare the sodium chloride, ammonium nitrate, and potassium sulfate salt. So always remember, to prepare the salt of potassium, sodium, ammonium, they are a soluble salt, you must use the reactions of uh, uh, neutralizations. Acid to react with alkali to produce salt and water. And this is the only reactions that you should use. Eh? Okay. Uh, even though we use other reactions, you can get the products. Eh? But the problem is that after you get the product, it's very hard for you to remove uh, the foreign substance, okay, and there's a good reason why we we want to use this because we can use the titrations method. I'm going to discuss with you later, okay, uh, when I discuss the steps in preparing the salt, okay. Now we just discuss the chemical reaction, which chemical reactions that we should choose uh, to prepare the salt, okay. Preparing non-potassium, sodium, and ammonium salt, okay. Um, so again, they would like us to write the chemical equations to prepare uh, the soluble zinc sulfate. Eh? Okay. Um, just now we learned that to prepare the salt which is not potassium, so the ammonium, then we can use the other reactions of uh, acid, right? Acid with uh, metal, acid with carbonate, and uh, acid with base oxide. Eh? Base oxide. So let's start with the first one, acid with uh, metal. Okay, now for salt, the negative ion is always come from acid. Eh? So, uh, so we must choose an acid that contains sulfate. So which acid contains sulfate? Hydrochloric acid, right? Okay, so we must use hydrochloric, uh, so no, sorry, sulfuric acid, eh? sulfuric acid. So we must use a uh, sulfuric acid, okay? And then the so metals, so since the positive ion is zinc, so we must use zinc. Zinc. And then, so, so therefore, the product is a zinc sulfate, which is a salt. And at the same time, hydrogen gas is released. Okay. Or the second one, okay, acid with carbonate. So the acid that we use is a sulfuric acid. Okay. And then the carbonate, uh, since we want zinc, so therefore, we, uh, we use zinc carbonate. And uh, the product is uh, zinc sulfate, okay. And then, uh, okay. So what are the products? When uh, acid react with carbonate, the product is carbon dioxide and water. Okay. So this is the second one. Uh, they want us to give three equations. The last one is the acid with uh, oxide, base oxide. This is also neutralizations. Uh, 
neutralizations. Acid with alkali or acid with oxide both are neutralizations reactions. Okay, the acids uh, that we use uh, sulfuric acid uh, because the negative ion is sulfate, so we must we must use a sulfuric acid. And uh, oxide, the oxide that we use is zinc oxide uh, because we want zinc in the salt. Uh, okay, and the products is uh, zinc sulfate. Okay, and water, and water. Okay, so you see we get zinc sulfate, zinc sulfate, and zinc sulfate. So for those salt which is not potassium, sodium, ammonia, we can use one of these three reaction. Okay, just choose one. Okay, so see what's the chemicals that you you have. Let's say in in your lab you have zinc carbonate, then just use zinc carbonate. Okay, if you have zinc oxide, then just use zinc oxide. That are the reactions to prepare soluble salt, which is not potassium, sodium, and ammonia. Another one. Uh, this times we need to prepare lead to nitrate again. They want three equations. The acid that we use is a uh, nitric acid eh? nitric acid because nitric acid contains nitrate ions eh? so we use a HNO3 okay and then uh, uh, the first reactions react with uh, metal okay metals are uh, late PV uh, the second reactions we react with uh, let's say late carbonate and the third one is uh, late oxide okay and uh, for the first one, the product is a uh, late nitrate PB NO32, PB32, and PB NO32. Okay, so this is salt. Okay, um, when we react with metals, uh, the other products is hydrogen gas, uh, hydrogen gas release. When we react with carbonate, the other products is uh, carbon dioxide and water, and uh, with oxide. Okay. Uh, the products is uh, water. Okay, um, to balance the first equations, the okay we have two nitrate, uh, so we must put a two here, and then two hydrogens, two hydrogen. Okay, fine. Um, this one's lead carbonate. Okay, again we have two nitrate, uh, so two nitrate. We use the uh, two nitric acid, and then some two hydrogens, two hydrogen here balance. Okay, the last one also uh, two nitrates, so we need to have two nitric acid and uh, two hydrogens, two hydrogen. Okay, balance already. So these are the equations uh, to prepare lead to nitrate. Okay. Uh, how about this one? How about this one? Uh, to prepare a copper two sulfate. Uh, copper two sulfate. Okay, but this one only two equations. Uh, two equations. So I, I will explain to you why. Why this one only two equations? Uh? Okay, so let's do the same thing since we want to have sulfate, so we must use uh, sulfuric acid H2, yeah, so 4, and then react with uh, let's say carbonate first, okay, copper carbonate, copper carbonate, and a uh, second sulfuric acid with uh, copper oxide, and the last one is uh, sulfuric acid with uh, copper. Okay, now uh, out of these three uh, reactions, okay, uh, the last one will not happen. Okay, the last one will not happen. Why? Because acid only react with reactive metal. Okay, and what is the reactive metals? Reactive metal is the metals higher than hydrogens. Uh, higher than hydrogens in electrochemical series. Eh? Okay, we still have tin. Okay. Lead, tin, hydrogen, copper. Okay, so higher than hydrogen means uh, those uh, elements higher than hydrogen in electrochemical series like calcium, magnesium, all these uh, metals can react with acid. Eh? But for those elements which is lower than hydrogen, eh? for example, uh, copper, silver, okay, and uh, they won't react with acid. Eh? So therefore, uh, these reactions uh, cannot be used. Actually, this is not a reaction. They, they, they won't react. Okay, Copper cannot react with sulfuric acid because copper is not reactive metal. Okay, so let's erase this. Okay, So there's only two uh, reactions uh, to prepare uh, copper sulfate. Okay, so copper carbonate, sulfuric acid, the salt is uh, copper sulfate. Okay, this one also copper sulfate. Uh. 
uh, with carbonates, the products is uh, carbon dioxide and water. Okay, and with oxide, the product is water. Okay, the equation is already balanced uh, for both reactions. Okay, so that's how we prepare a uh, copper sulfate. Uh, okay, make sure that you remember this. Okay, yeah, because um, it's very tricky. Okay, so because in exam they may give you a uh, sulfuric acid and copper. Usually in objective questions, they give you the few lists. Okay, so a lot of students will choose the sulfuric acid and copper as well because they can they do not remember that uh, acid cannot react with copper because copper is not reactive metal. Eh? 